How does chemotherapy work? Chemotherapy means treatment with drugs. For lymphoma treatment, these drugs are usually what are known as cytotoxic. Cyto means cell, and toxic means poison. They work by poisoning the cancerous lymphoma cells. Nearly all the cells that make up our bodies have a limited lifespan. They eventually die off naturally. This means that they need to be replaced by new cells. New cells form when an old cell divides into two new cells. This process is called the cell cycle, or mitosis, and is happening to lots of cells in our bodies all the time. The cell cycle consists of four basic phases. First is prophase, when the cell makes a copy of its DNA and gets ready to split. Next is metaphase, when the DNA lines up ready to divide. Then comes anaphase, when the cell starts to split in two. And lastly, telophase, when an outer membrane forms around each part, making two new cells. Lymphoma is a type of cancer. It develops when lymphocytes, which are a type of white blood cell, become cancerous and grow out of control. They can then build up in the lymph nodes or other parts of the body. This can happen when lymphocytes divide more often than normal. It can also happen when they don't die when they should. Cytotoxic drugs stop cells dividing or cause them to die. Some cytotoxic drugs work in a particular phase of the cell cycle, so only cells in the affected phase are stopped or killed. Others work on any cell that is dividing, so all dividing cells are stopped or killed. Cytotoxic drugs have little or no effect on cells that are not dividing. To kill as many cells as possible in one go, drugs that work in different phases of the cell cycle are usually used together in what is called a combination regimen. Using different drugs together helps to kill as many lymphoma cells as possible. Even when several chemotherapy drugs are used together in a combination regimen, some of the cancerous cells will not be killed. This may be because they were not dividing or were not in the right phase of their cell cycle at the time of the treatment. This is why chemotherapy is repeated in cycles. Combination regimens are often known by a series of letters. This can be the initials of the drugs being used, for example, A, B, V, D, which contains andreomycin, bleomycin, vimblastine, and doxorubicin, and R, C, V, P, which contains rituximab, cyclophosphamide, vincristine, and prednisolone. Sometimes the initials of the regimen can be pronounced as a word, for example, CHOP, which contains cyclophosphamide, hydroxydanorubicin, oncovin, and prednisolone. The problem with many cytotoxic drugs is that they can stop normal, healthy cells dividing as well as cancer cells. This is what causes many of the side effects of chemotherapy. The cells that divide more often are the most likely to be damaged. For example, the cells in bone marrow divide frequently to make new blood cells. If you don't make enough new blood cells, you can get side effects like infections and anemia. Your hair follicle cells also divide frequently, which is why your hair may fall out when you have chemotherapy. How is chemotherapy given? Intravenous chemotherapy, often referred to as IV chemotherapy, means that drugs are given into a vein. This is the most common way to have chemotherapy for lymphoma. Some IV drugs are given as bolus, or a push dose. The nurse injects the drug into your vein over a short period of time, usually a few minutes. Other IV drugs are given as an intravenous infusion, often called a drip. IV chemotherapy drugs are mixed with fluid in a bag. The fluid drips slowly from the bag, down some tubing and into a vein in your arm over a set amount of time. 
This could be anywhere from 30 minutes to a number of hours, depending on the drug you are given. Some people have IV chemotherapy through a central venous catheter, often known as a line or central line. This is a tube that goes into a bigger vein and stays in place for a longer time, sometimes several months, and sometimes for the whole of your treatment. There are two types of central line, a PICC line, which is inserted through a vein in your arm, or a tunneled central line, which is inserted directly into your chest during a small operation. You can also be given oral chemotherapy, which is taken by mouth in the form of tablets or capsules. Oral chemotherapy can be taken safely at home and you do not need to go into hospital to have it. You will be given instructions about how to take this treatment at home. Your medical team will explain what chemotherapy they recommend for you, how long it will be given and why they think this is the best course of treatment for you. Always feel free to ask any questions you have about your chemotherapy or any other aspects of your treatment to your medical team at any time. <music>